Please raise your right hand. I, Brandon M. Scott. I, Brandon M. Scott. Do affirm. Do affirm. That I will support the Constitution. That I will support the Constitution. Of the United States. Of the United States. And that I will be faithful. And that I will be faithful. And bear true allegiance. And bear true allegiance. To the state of Maryland. To the state of Maryland. And support the Constitution. And support the Constitution. And laws thereof. And laws thereof. And that I will, and that I will, to the best of my skill, to the best of my skill, and judgment, and judgment, diligently and faithfully, diligently and faithfully, without partiality or prejudice, without partiality or prejudice, execute the office of, execute the office of, mayor of the city of Baltimore, mayor of the city of Baltimore, according to the Constitution, according to the Constitution, and laws of this state, and laws of this state. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. May I ask you please, Your Honor, to sign the oath book. Mm -hmm. This is the governor's citation presented to you this day. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Good afternoon, Baltimore. Uh, my name is Brandon M. Scott, and I stand before you uh, for the first time as your mayor. Let me start by thanking my parents, my dearly departed grandparents, my colleagues on the city council, and my staff. I would also like to thank Mayor Young, uh, who stepped up to serve our city when we needed him, and he did so selflessly and tirelessly. Uh, the entire city of Baltimore owes him a deep uh, gret of gratitude. I would especially like to thank the residents of Baltimore for putting your trust in me to lead you through this difficult time, and it is a very difficult time. We are in the midst of battling two public health emergencies, COVID-19 and a continued pan epidemic of gun violence. COVID cases are rising, deaths are rising, small businesses are suffering, and an eviction crisis looms large over our city. Not to mention the huge fiscal impact to our city's budget that will require sacrifices. We are also losing too many lives to violence and preventable overdose death each and every day. That must change. We cannot accept this as normal in our city. We must also understand that these dual emergencies of violence and this pandemic exacerbate the underlying and obvious inequities facing residents of Baltimore. I am humbled by the task before us, and I have hope, but I am not naive to the challenges we face. You have entrusted me to be your mayor in this critical moment. Through fresh thinking, transparency, professionalism, integrity, and hard work, we can meet these challenges. You will not agree with everything that I do, but I know you agree that the status quo cannot continue, and under my leadership, it will not. Under my leadership, we will chart a new way forward for Baltimore. But 
a new way forward requires a new foundation. Our city remains unsafe and dirty, despite the way we invest our public dollars in our budget. We will get back to the basics of safe neighborhoods, reliable trash and recycling collection, plowed roads, dependable public transit, clean and affordable water, and most importantly, a good education, all with a focus on equity. This starts here in Baltimore with public safety. The trauma and violence in our city is personal for you, just like it is for me. Reducing murders in our city will not be easy, but it's a challenge we must attack because we have to. It is clear our crime fighting strategies clearly have not yielded the results we need as we continue to lose too many people to violence. And those who are committing these acts remain comfortable on our streets. This is unacceptable and will change. Every day we do not transform our approach. Every day we don't build public safety. The consequences are measured in the loss of black lives. I want you to know that every day I will work tirelessly to change that. Baltimore, we must reimagine what public safety means for us. Gone are the days where we attempt to solely police our way out of our problems. That strategy does not work. It has not worked. It will not work. I am moving us from a one size fits all strategy to a all hands on deck approach. Under my leadership, every day, every city agency head must use their resources to reduce murders and build public safety hand in hand with our community. As mayor, I will focus on addressing the root causes of crime and investing in our communities so we can sustainably decline the violence and improve outcomes for our residents, all while acting with the urgency to address the violence we see on a day-to-day -day basis. Let me be clear, this will be done while fully supporting our consent decree to ensure our police department operates in a constitutional way and our communities drive that process. We can do this, Baltimore. Under my leadership, we will recognize the ongoing overdose epidemic as the public health crisis that it is and focus on it through a reproach of harm reduction because we must save lives. My goal as mayor is to preserve the lives of all Baltimoreans. This is our most important task. However, we must also continue to battle the COVID-19 pandemic and everyone must do their part. As your mayor, I will not waver or hesitate to make decisions that save lives and protect our economy. I want to ensure that every Baltimorean wears a mask. I want to ensure that every Baltimorean can get tested and have access to the vaccine. Our decisions will not always be easy and often will feel harsh, but they will always be guided by the advice of public health officials. COVID-19 has taught us many lessons about what's possible when normal gets thrown out the window, like the importance of investing in municipal broadband to close the digital divide and position our city for the future. On top, ultimately, we must focus on a health and fiscal recovery in our city that builds a more equitable Baltimore. We know that COVID has harmed the delivery of services. It has disrupted trash collection and eliminated recycling collection, despite the continued heroic work of our frontline employees. We will resume recycling collection, but we won't stop there. We must pursue a zero waste future not just for a cleaner city and harbor, but also for the next generation. Our young people are Baltimore's greatest untapped resource. They are the key to realizing Baltimore's true potential of lowering crime, better schools, and stronger neighborhoods. 
I want to ensure that every young person in Baltimore can thrive, regardless of where they grew up or what high school they attend, albeit I hope they all go to Mervo, they all will have a seat at the table in my administration as we forge this future together. Equity will be my guiding principle from the way we invest in our black and brown neighborhoods and businesses to the way we govern, ensuring all residents get what they need despite the legacy of racist policies and practices that are at the root of the issues that many Baltimoreans face today. It is why I passed Baltimore's equity law and why I am excited to be the mayor who has to enforce it. This is our new way forward. What is before us is foundational work. This term is about changing business as usual and building strategy that serves us all. This term is about making sure that we are tearing down what doesn't work and laying a foundation brick by brick that allows the next generation to thrive. This term is not, let me say that again, is not about cutting ribbons, highlights, or headlines. We will celebrate our wins, but this term is fundamentally about doing the hard work to put Baltimore on a better path. I am not a savior for our city. No one is coming to save us. We have the ability to save ourselves, but we can only do that together. We all have a role to play in building a safer, functioning, and equitable city, and the only way forward is together. I am committed to working with Council President Mosby, Comptroller Henry, the City Council, and everyone who believes Baltimore can be better. We have hard work to do, and we will do it together. And as I close, let me be clear, as your mayor, I am unafraid to do the right thing over the popular one, even if it hurts me politically. Because this term is about doing what is required to chart a new path, save lives, and prepare Baltimore for a prosperous and equitable future. Thank you.